Happy 4th of July weekend. Uh, got a long three day holiday, so I'm gonna try and get some more stuff done on this thing. Borrow an impact gun. Let's take off this uh, nut. Let's try and do this thing. Maybe this will come off. Done. Hey, we're Jenny and Rich, and our stowaway is Twitchell the Marina Cat. We've been documenting the refit of our 1977 Tayona 37 Ramble On for the past several years. I don't think there's a single part of this boat that we haven't repaired, replaced, or improved in some way. We're proud to say we've done 99.9% .9 of the work ourselves. We've gained a lot of knowledge and experience in the process, and we're happy to pass that wisdom on. All I gotta do now, I'm just lifting this, pulling this thing out. So yeah, that got me some, uh, that got me quite a bit of clearance. I mean, these studs on the uh, raw water pump stick out further than the crankshaft now. Good to go. Okay. Next, I gotta figure out how we're gonna lift this thing and everything that needs to get out of the way to do so. Put the engine cover back on. Look at all that black water sitting down in the bilge. Our engine's bleeding to death. All right. So this is uh, this is plan A, and it's uh, one-ton chain hoist. So. So plan A. Chain hoist. What's plan B. plan B yet. So what I got is I get the main sheet to the back of the boom. I've got the topping lift to the middle of the boom. I've got a couple of straps to hold it in place. Just hang it from I think I can catch both of these straps. This thing. Yeah, I think I got it. I don't know if I'm splitting this transmission at the correct spot. I can't, I'm trying to separate the, the transmission from the bell housing and I'm having a bit of an issue. All right, so we're gonna go back and uh, do what I did with the strap and support the uh, transmission here. Wow. I might use two straps on this thing too, just to just to be safe. So I need to get it supported just enough so that I can s lift the engine and slide it forward. Off the studs. And see if I can get it off the stud. Uh, well, yeah, the, there's also an input shaft on the transmission. I think it sticks out about that far is what it looked like on the diagram. But where I'm cracking the transmission, the bolts that I could get to, I'm not sure if they're in the right spot or if I'm doing this in the right spot. Just making it up as we go so if it works it'll work and if it doesn't fall back and regroup retreat <laughs> so if this thing's about that long i just need to see about what's going to happen with the transmission when i try and move it out of the way <laughs> i've had this thing up off of its mounts before just not enough uh how'd you do it before you didn't do it like this Oh, you blocked it with wood. Yeah, I forget how I did it. it certainly wasn't, most likely wasn't safe. Oh, it's up. <laughs> okay, so everything's moving right now. The back is barely off. The front is more off than the back. So I could reset this back another link or two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's moving. Nah, I'm still on the rear mounts. Okay. Move that link? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and move that link. Oh, thank you. 
Is this okay? It'll be fine. Just for the little bit that we're moving it. Now the back is out. Now it's going to Holy crap. I'm way off the... I'm out of the output shaft now. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah. Man, that thing is stubborn. I don't know why this thing ain't coming out. I can see why. It's moving. You can see why? It's on that nut. On that, that stud is not letting loose. No. Boy, what is the deal here? Yeah, so this thing is loose all the way around except right at this spot. Got it separated. That's it? Yeah, pretty much. Um, we were in the process of trading positions and I was wiggling on it a little more. There's that crusty stud. So, right there. Got it, uh, oh. got it off. And that is the splined output shaft that we had to get past from the damper plate. There's a spline right there in the damper plate as well. Got the chain hoist hooked up to the strap. Uh, I've already done a test pick. Um, the main sheet is holding it over. We've got the traveler jacked all the way to port side. And coming this way, I've got a guideline down to the jib track and back to the primary. So it's on the bottom. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh. Shh, what the f Now we gotta get the transmission out.
very, very stoked. Happy to have this thing out of here. Um, since we were booming the engine over to the starboard side, um, and it is pretty breezy today, we thought we should um, secure the boat a little bit more to the dock. So we took our two halyards, uh, the staysail halyard and then our sp spare halyard, and just ran them over to the fleet on the dock. Well, and that one wasn't quite long enough, so we used our neighbor's dock line for it. And that's about it. And actually, the boat did not move that much. It was it felt nice and stable. So that was one of our big concerns when we first started thinking about doing this was how are we going to make sure the boat doesn't just start leaning over? So, yeah. And I don't think we talked about, we also had to take down the boom gallows. So we typically have the gallows there that the boom rests on. And we took that off just so we'd have the clearance and it wouldn't be in the way. And went a lot smoother than we thought it was going to go. Sick! We're a good team. You got it out nicely. I'll tell you that. It just got out nicely. And, but there was a little bit of overthinking, I think. That's what I did. Yeah, but it worked. Yeah, it worked great. Your, your help and your eyes and observations helped a lot. Hopefully it's not too windy. We got a lot of wind. Sorry, George.